Hello everyone. This is Monday, March 18th, 2024. The time is 10 a.m. and we have a current uh, temperature of 3 degrees. But I was looking at my weather, uh, weather and it said we're going to high of 8 today. So that's going to be really nice. 8 degrees and sunny, some clouds. What a great day it's turned out to be. All right, I'm here at the ferry terminal in downtown Halifax. Looking out across the harbor, that boat right there is going to Woodside, and that one there will be going over to Dartmouth. Okay. I hope I erased my last video off. I just thought of that right now. That perhaps I didn't erase that off. If I run into trouble, I'll have to, uh, the first time I stop, first time I stop, I'll go back and, and erase off the, because I made a long video last time out, it was like an hour and a half video, and it may affect my performance today if I don't uh, erase that off. Well, we'll see what happens. Right now, everything's good. I didn't make a video yesterday, but I was down here, and it was crowded down here. It was it was just unbelievably crowded down here, and it's not even tourist season yet. A lot of the stuff isn't open down here. A few things were, but not a lot. A lot of it wasn't, but it was still busy. People were down here anyway, regardless. Oh, I guess they're just longing for the summer to come and everything get going again. Winter has got its beauty, but I think most people are happy to see spring here, summer coming. Spring is almost here. The 20th this year is the first of spring. So I was told it depends on what day the sun crosses the equator. And that will be the 20th of March. Two more days, first of spring. Isn't that great? These restaurants will be all up and booming again. They're very quiet right now. Not much going on here because it's not tourist season yet, but it won't be long. I haven't come down here and just looked around the water for some time to look out over the water and I've been down here briefly but not to spend any amount of time because it was always cold and windy and it's great today. Looking over across the water there. I used to live, when I lived in Dartmouth, that was just about right over there, that direction. It's hard to tell exactly, but it was somewhere around there. Then we moved back in November to Lower Sackville. It doesn't seem that long ago, but here it is. Almost the, soon be the end of March. We were to, moved in in November. December, January, February, March. Four months, we've been there four months in our new place. Wow. Time flies. Pretty quiet down here this morning, but I don't mind. I don't mind at all when it's quiet because sometimes quiet is good. It gives you a chance to think and you know, think about think about things. I see the flag is still at half mass in celebration of the death of a former Prime Minister of Canada, Brian Mulroney. That's a few days ago now, but they're still still at half mast. 
I don't know how long to go, maybe a week or something, I'm not sure. It seems weird without all the boats in here that's usually here. They'll be back before long. All the restaurants will be up and going and the tour boats will all be here. No docking. This dock is under construction. Hmm. Yeah, there's not much water down there. <laughs> Tide must be out right now. You can see the marsh where it usually is. And up in here you can see the, the bare ground. So Tide must be out. Well, started out the waterfront, might as well walk around here for a bit. Oh, nice, nice glass in the front here. If you're sitting in that restaurant there, you can have a good view of the water. They're getting all ready, getting everything in there, ready for the start up. Let's see what they call this. They call it the Salt and Ash Bee House, Beach House. Salt and ash. Well, we don't want to leave a single thing out here today. We're walking around here. I like this little area right in here. It's pretty cool. Do you want to walk up here today? Okay, let's do this. We haven't done this for a while. I'm going to count them. See how many steps there are to the top. You got one. Two. This will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31. 31 steps to there. And then if you count up in there, it'd be a little bit more. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 steps to the top. Alright, we have a little look out over from right here. Want to see the ferry coming in? We'll go out here looking through the through this stuff. The Woodside Ferry is coming in, and the Dartmouth one is going out. You can see the McDonald Bridge in the background. You can see lots of construction going on on, on the Dartmouth side right now. There's three cranes up there, and one over there. And there's more buildings going up in that area right there. That's just one, there's more. I was, I was over there and did a video not long ago. All right, let's continue on. Back down, <laughs> back down again. Mm. 
When we moved here in 2018, none of that was here, none of it. All that that you see right there, nothing. They was work. They had the hole dug in the ground for that building, but it wasn't even. The building wasn't even started when we came here. It was a hole in the ground, and and they were getting ready to to build. Now look what all the stuff's been here. There's lots of stuff that wasn't here in 2018 that's here now. I can't even think of it all. There's a lot of it. Well, I'm hoping I erased my last video off. I don't know if I did, but we'll find out. This is still going, so I'm okay. I just gotta keep an eye on it. Make sure I don't walk around talking for half an hour and it's not being recorded or something. I know I've had a few issues with this phone. It wasn't the greatest phone. My last one held up better than this one. This one, like I've, I've not even got a year on it yet. It's almost wore out. I don't know how they make these, if they just stamp them out with a machine and they, there you go or, or what, but they don't seem to be very good quality anymore. Let's go through here. Don't think I ever did that. It goes out on the street. We can come back in over there. Or over there. There's ways, there's ways back in again. I just wanted to go through it. Two shops here now. The Peacock Wine Bar. The, another shop. Boutique. And Italian restaurant over there. And in the summer there's an ice cream store right there. goes out onto Lower Water Street. I believe. Boy, that cool walking through that. There's other ways in and out of these buildings. A lot of walkways through there. Yeah, I know, Tim Hortons is right there, but I'm not going to them like you did that. I'm going to keep on with my video until it's done. How do you like that? Do you like walking through tunnels? I, I do. I do. I, I, I like something about it. I like doing that. It's going to be nice out. Well, the, the, the forecast is 8 degrees today. That's going to be really good. We haven't got any of that 17 degrees like Toronto had there yet. But theirs was short-lived. I think it was one day. And then they got flurries on that Friday. So it was short-lived. This is where people like to go in the summertime when it's hot. You can walk right down these stairs into the water when it's hot out. Isn't that great? You can walk right down there and wade right out in the water if you want to. It probably is cold, but some people do it. Yeah, some do it. Well, the 
let's go this way. Yes, I said I got the wrong one. These two buildings are similar. This one, that one over there. This is the one with the ice cream store. Right here. This is it right here. It's called the Fog Company Halifax. That's the ice cream store. I don't think it's open yet, but it won't be long. It won't be long to be open. The Fog Company dog parking. Look at this. Dogs, you can take your dogs in here, dog parking. Well, oh, I see you can tie your dogs right up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. You can tie your dog right there. And there's a thing that gives your dog water while you're, while you're inside. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know if that was there last year or not. It must have been. I don't remember it, but it must have been. All right, let's go. Continue on. Oh, they closed this wharf. That must mean that boat's coming in. If I could do some work to it. The Acadia is a merchant marine ship which hasn't operated for a number of years, but it's a tourist boat. And then you can take tours and walk around on it. Well, it usually is parked right here, but it, it probably got to get some work done. They put the fence up here to keep people out while they're working on it, I would imagine. And the uh, blue nose usually comes in this one. Pretty sure this is the wharf where they put the blue nose in this one. And the sack fell goes or it could be the other way around. The sack fell maybe goes in there and the blue nose is him. I don't know. One of them is is the Acadia. And there's the Sackville, and then there's the Blue Nose comes over here. So we'll see how, how they do it this year. We're at the back of the uh, Maritime Museum of the Atlantic right there. And the, <coughs> the ship, the Sackville is, is uh, or sorry, the uh, Acadia is part of the museum. Wow, look at them. That must be a patrol boat. Look at, look at the motors on that. I would say it's either a rescue, fire rescue, or it's a, some kind of a boat like that. It's got some big engines on it, two of them. Yes, these are the things that tell you about the, the Sackville. So the Sackville, I think it's going to go there. I believe it is. I think that's where it's going to go right in there. And the Acadia is going to be over there. That's what I think. And I think the blue nose goes here.
You know, I can see a little bit of wind up there. The flag's moving, but it don't feel cold. Can you see the flag up there? The Canadian flag flapping in the breeze. Yeah, but it don't feel cold at all down here. I just got to keep an eye on this and make sure I don't run out of space. At some point along here, I'm going to stop my video and just check and see if I raced the one, the last one I did. Because I posted it last night, so I'm going to be able to erase it. I did a kick out of that sign. For your protection, do not climb. And the kids all climb on it. <laughs> I like this stuff here. You can walk on the sponge. You can feel it beneath your feet. Squishy. That's so if anybody falls off of that, they won't get hurt as bad as they would landing on the boards. Now, the other day I did, I did a walk down here and I showed a lot of the, the waterfront, mostly from here on down. I showed a little bit up here, but it was almost over then. So I may not go all the way down the waterfront because I've already showed a lot of stuff there recently, so that's probably what we'll do. We'll probably uh, leave the waterfront shortly here, and but we'll go. I'll go a little bit more, and then, then we'll go out on the street, okay? This one from Amazon. How much is this? Good? Uh, the hundred and something. This is the one, the bottom price ones. I have one before. Okay. It had a bigger handle. It was heavier. Let me get a sleeve, all right? Yeah. Let me get a very sleeve, huh? Oh, yeah. I try to take the video using my phone. I know. But it's it's bumpy. Yeah. yeah. You get one of these, and every time you step, it just it levels it out. But the thing is, like, uh, are you living here? Or you're yeah, tourist? I live here. Is that okay to do the uh, photo oh. video recording here? Yes. It's, it's okay, yep. right? Oh, yeah. Okay, like a video, even. The only place where they complain is in the malls. Oh, in the malls. The malls, they, they, they chase me out of two malls. Why? <laughs> Why? Because they don't. I don't know. I'm so not sure. I'm not the sure. You show the price something? I don't know. You mean the, I know like grocery store or what? We used to live in Ontario. Yeah. And in Toronto, you could walk through Eaton Center and do it. Yeah, like you do everything, right? There. But here, you mean like a uh, no? Yeah, the they, don't, they don't want you in the mall. And uh, security takes me out. I was in the parking lot of Halifax Shopping Center. Oh, they all in the shopping center. They and how in fact sec the, the security guys there chased me out of there. <laughs> but in the grocery store, it's fine, right? Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Yeah, are, you, are you like a like a video taking taking the yeah. video now? Yeah, it's going. Yeah. Is it like going on live or on live? Yeah. Are no, live? no, it's not live. I have to put it on the computer and ship okay. it to my channel. Yeah. Oh, you you have a channel. Yeah. It's for. I go by Halifax Walker. Halifax Walker. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> yeah, I have about almost 1,500 subscribers now. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Cool. How long have you been doing this? This is my third year. Okay, 15,000. That's uh, that's good. You too. Yeah. No, I think it's I think it's uh, I think it's 1,500. Not 1,500. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, um, yeah. I'm past the point where I get paid though. I make a little bit of money. Oh, you can earn money yeah. from there? Yeah, I have to have 1,000 subscribers to get paid. Uh, by YouTube? Do you do any advertisement or? Yeah, they put ads on there, yeah. All oh, the put ads there and you get yeah. uh, income. Yeah. Oh, it's you, make, you make something, not a lot, yeah, but yeah, 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 something, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. 
Can I show you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, this is the guy I met on the waterfront here. <laughs> where where are you from? I'm from China. Are you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but I, I have been living here for ten years. Yeah. Yeah, and then I went back to China for four years and we just came back. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm thinking to do the same thing like that. Yeah. Later. Uh, what brand is this? Oh, I don't know. You can. Oh, it's yeah, same, yeah, same. CJJ. Uh, yeah, 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 this is a Chinese brand. Is it? Yeah, it's yeah. A Chinese brand. I have a. Uh, I have. Let me see what I have. Okay, I have the microphone from them. Okay. Yeah, same brand. Yeah. Uh, also, I have the. They call. It oh, the stick. Uh, the like it's a holder. The stick. It like extends stick. out. Let me show you. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Yes. The same brand. Yeah. So same brand. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. So when you got that, you can get this. Yeah. Yeah. And this oh, is okay. Just the That's for a, a GoPro. Yeah, it's similar like a GoPro, and you do yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. It's all in the stick. Yeah. It's same thing. The camera's in there. Yeah, it's, it's a camera. And you can download it to the computer. Yes. Yeah. I can. I, I, I can express it to the phone. And there is a plug here. This is kind of change to a plug yeah. and a plug to the phone. Okay. Or you can uh, transfer them through like a uh, Bluetooth. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, How much is that one? Uh, about the 200 to 300 bucks. Okay, yeah, yeah very small, yeah. yeah. Does Just it have screen, anything so to take small. the bumps out? Uh, what do you mean bumps out? Like, 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 like the, no, 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 it don't no because it don't. Uh, it's the same. Uh, oh, same okay. mechanics like this. Mm -hmm. Same mechanics. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see that, yeah. <laughs> Good. I just, I'm learning to how to use this. Yes. Because the screen is too small compared to the phone. Uh, it's very hard to tell, like, the quality, you know. Oh, because it's small. Yeah, and uh, they have a new one, but uh, when I came here, they haven't, uh, so, like, put it on the market yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. I like that. That's, that's really. If you want to go in the mall and don't want to get caught, you use yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's small. Yeah. They see you coming with this and they like, no, you can't do that in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this way you can do uh, selfie. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, selfie. Yep. This is a selfie. <laughs> Hello, another mm -hmm. YouTuber. Hi. Hi. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. So you can uh, you you have a YouTube channel? Or no? no, I don't. No. Yeah, I try to start it. I try to figure out how to like. You guys this. get somebody that that does it, and there's my son helped me. Oh. I, I see. don't know how to do it either, ah. but he helped me. He's uh, he's really smart on that stuff. He's re he's really smart. If yeah. I if I know you want to do it, my son would probably help you. Uh, is he from here or he's living? In no, he lives he lives with us. Oh, he lives here. Yeah. Okay. He, he he's. He never got married. He's going to stay single. So he, <laughs> <laughs> he lived with us. <laughs> but he's really smart. He works at that stuff. He, he, he's a sound sound guy. Yeah. Does worked with the, the okay. big, big sound system. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so he, when we were in Toronto, he took one year radio broadcasting. Okay. And then he took another year um, recording arts. Okay. So uh, he knows every, he knows all that. Are you stuff. living in downtown? Or? I live in Lower Sackville. Oh, Lower Sackville. That's yeah. a nice area. Yeah, yeah. Nice area. And yeah. Um, the environment and also cost effective, the rent is yeah. uh, low. And the bus from there is the same price as here. You don't have to pay yeah, up yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. About the rent, are you are you doing a rental or you're buying we're a We're renting, we're paying 2200 a month. 2200 a month, uh, a big house, right? It's not. It's not big house. It's the apartment, but it's all brand oh, it's new. Okay. It's oh, brand the new apartment. And they come with five appliances and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, the underground yeah. parking. And, yeah, 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 it's nice. And yes, here is more expensive. Yeah, yeah. So. we used to live just across there. We were renting a, another place. It was much cheaper, but but we decided to move. And it's more quiet there on San Laura Circuit. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people living here, they they like to live there. Mm -hmm. Not to there yeah actually. they just don't want, want to cross the bridge yeah yeah we lived almost right across just over that area yeah i know i used to run there oh I yeah run across the bridge run like a circle and then come back you know lakefront uh lakefront lakefront you know where that is, is? That street yeah no i don't no. know i only ran it once i run try to run across the bridge i feel so cool 
and then just uh, after go there and do a small circle, came back. Okay. Just let it off. Normally, I just uh, drive through mm -hmm. the car, the bridge. Fine. Okay. And how old is this little one? How old are you, David? Hi. Hi. See, I'm uh, 13 months. <laughs> 13 months. Where is your shoe? You, uh, do you know, uh, have you ever run across on the computer doing videos, Action Kid? Uh, video Action Kid? Action Kid, do you know who that is? No, I don't know. Oh, he, he would like him. He's like the best. He's the, he's the king of videos. Okay. Yeah. Like a video action kid. He's, right? he's a Chinese guy. Okay. And he even did some videos in, in, uh, in, in China. Oh, really? Yeah. A video action guy. He was in, he was in, uh, about, about two or three weeks ago, he was in Taiwan. Okay. And he went into a restaurant, and it was all about New York. Okay. New York stuff, everything New York in there. You know, and he, that's where Action Kid is from, New York. Oh, And I he was see. over there, there and, and he's making videos all around, and he, he came to Toronto a couple of times, and he, you know, he's everywhere, like he's, Big, he's big in it. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna check it out. The, yeah. The name is uh, Video Action. Action Kid. Okay. Yeah. I'm check just, it out. just go on the, 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 yeah, the videos and you'll see. Just go Action Kid. He's, he's the king of videos. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check it out. I well. used to watch him. Yeah. And that's why I started. Oh, I see. I watched him for about maybe a year, maybe a couple of years, and I said, I think I could do that. <laughs> I went, God yeah, you doesn't. can do that. And it's a nice view here. Just yeah. Look and oh, yeah, it's beautiful. See the scenery and I walk along. That's what I'm going to do, actually. <laughs> I think I'm going to the container terminal. You can go down Barrington Street. Yeah. And there's something you probably didn't know. If you go down Barrington past the Tim Horton okay. and go around, there's like where the curve is. Yeah. There's a tunnel under the track. Yeah. You can go through that tunnel and you come up the other side and the container terminal is just down from there. Oh, really? I didn't yeah, know that. it's kind of cool. You can go right under the track. Oh, I see. Yeah. I never go there. The tunnel's about as long as probably from here to that building over there. Okay. And you can walk right under the track. Yeah. Okay, I see. I yeah. got it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, you're going to video me too? Okay. <laughs> well, nice Let's meeting go. you. Yeah, take care. Yeah, too. Yeah. Bye -bye. I hope you get your YouTube going. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You will enjoy it. Once you start, you're hooked. You can't stop. <laughs> really? Okay. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, that was fine. I encourage people to, if they don't make videos already, they want to, get, it, get into it. It's a fun, it's a, it's, a, it's a great pastime. I love it. I, I'd help anybody, help anybody to get started. I'm not very technical, so I can't, uh, I can't tell them how to set up on YouTube because my, my son did it for me. I'm too old to learn all these these new tricks, but oh, they're setting the tent up for something. Then all kinds of stuff goes on here in the summer, festivals and things. So yeah, it's setting the tent up there for something that's going to happen. Well, I wasn't going to walk all the way down through here, but I'll just go on the street now. I've been here, down here near enough. But I'm glad I met the guy I met there. That was really cool. He's got a little GoPro thing there. He, but he wants to get something like what I got here. Because the picture's kind of small on that.
Okay, we'll go back out onto lower Water Street and we'll walk down. What I was telling him about, we can walk under the train tracks. I'm going to do that today. Some of you people that have been watching my channel for a long time would know about that, but anybody that watched lately wouldn't probably know. So I'm going to do it again today. And maybe we'll walk towards the container yard just to show you where it is and what it looks like down here. So we'll walk down to the end of Barrington. We'll go under the train track in the tunnel. We'll go up the other side, we'll make a right, and we'll walk down towards the container terminal. You can't go in there because security, unless you're on business in there, you can't go in. So we can walk by it on the road and I can show you where it is. Okay? I worked as a truck driver before I retired. I'm retired now, so I, I, uh, I've been into the container terminal. I've been in there a few times. That was back in my early career as a driver. That was one of the first places I went to was the container terminal in Halifax. I get down to Tim Hortons in on Barrington. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I just got to drive off long enough to go to the washroom. And that'll give me a chance to, I'll turn this off and that'll give me a chance to uh, erase my last video so I don't run out of storage. All right. And then I might have erased it. I'm just not sure. And I'll check it while I'm in there. And then we'll keep on going. I had a coffee up at Scotia Square, and you know what? What goes in must come out. So I had a big, big, tall coffee, and I gotta now I gotta go to the washroom. But I, I'm okay till I get down to Tim Hortons, who will go in there, and and, uh, and then at the same time we'll check this phone, and make sure I got that last video erased off. It was, it was an over an hour, it was more than an hour and a half long. Probably my longest video I've made so far. But I was having such a good time doing it and it was really great. And we were looking at all kinds of things. And so, anyway, that was that happened. I had a long video that day. Today's going to be a nice video too. I'm already up to, to 38 minutes and I'm not even down to Tim Hortons yet. This one could be over an hour too. But that's all right. I'll make it up for the short ones I did when it was cold out and windy and snow blowing and not very pleasant. I'll make up for those ones. I gotta keep my eyes open for a good restaurant. I want take my wife out. We, we didn't go on on our well we're all, almost to our anniversary. I think we're I lost track of my day here. I think we're we, I know we didn't celebrate it anyway but it's around our time right now for our anniversary and so we gotta go out somewhere so really nice to celebrate that and my wife's birthday comes up in first part of April so we'll celebrate the whole thing together and, and uh, we, don't, we don't go out that much but I'm looking for a nice nice place where we haven't been before you know this place right here in the front they've got Storefronts with apartments in the back. You can rent the, you can you can work and live in the same spot if you go into business. You got a business of some kind. You can rent the, the front 
first door and you live in the rest of it. Very unique, I never saw that anyway. Yes, I, let's see. I think I can, uh, I saw something about it. Yeah, um, the growth was the over from one of some of them. I read it somewhere on one of these uh, signs about you can have a combination apartment and a storefront. Right here, I think I think that's it right there. Okay, let's go look. Um, well, I'm telling you the truth if you can. Alright. Six live work suites available. Studio, one bedroom, one bedroom and den suites. So you can you can have a store like that in the front and then behind it is your apartment. How cool is that? You don't have to drive here and get to go start your job in the morning. You don't have to pay for parking. You don't have to buy gas. Wow, that's a pretty good idea. We'll go up the hill, I guess. We gotta go up and get onto Barrington now. Could have went the other way, but I think I'll go this way. Okay, we're walking up Morris, Morris Street. We'll bring us down to the lower end of Barrington and then we'll walk down to the stop up, make my quick stop at Tim Hortons and then we'll walk down to the under the railroad tracks and down to the container yard. And that'll probably be the end of this video because that's a bit of walking yet. Aren't these places nice right here? I love these doors. The brass. was good until I got right there. Morris and Hollis. Corner, corner of Morris and Hollis. Right it's a pretty cool area down here. They've got a lot of nice cafes and stuff. This is the Wired Monk Cafe Bistro. Right here. Well, let's uh, go this way. We'll go down by the train station and walk all the way around that way. Noisy here or what? <laughs> What a racket! They're all going to the container terminal. Very busy spot down here. I just might want to go down there and show you. Show you where it is. We can't go in, like I said, but we can go by it. You can see where the trucks go in. And they have to stop at the gate out there. And unless you're on business there, you ain't getting in. So. And I have no business there because I'm retired. I don't drive anymore. I could still drive a truck if I wanted to, but I'm retired and I'm going to stay that way. I determined when I, I worked till I was 67. So you know I'm not a young guy. And When I told my boss I was leaving, he wasn't real happy about it because, you know, I, I was a good, loyal employee. I don't mind saying that about myself because I was. I won't say I was perfect, but 
I was loyal, loyal to my company, and went the extra mile for them to try to make sure I know what I got. Got caught with unsafe vehicles. There's a lot of drivers out there don't don't check their trucks over there. I used to come in early in the morning before anybody was there and check all the trailers and make sure nothing had a flat tire and all these things and, and all that kind of stuff, yeah. But those days are behind me now. I'm, I'm retired. And I plan to stay like that. It was a good life while I had it. It was good. But, like anything, if you work there long enough, you're going to reach your retirement age. One time you used to have to stop working at 65. Now you don't, you can keep working. As long as you want to work. I stopped at 67. I turned 67 on July of 2018. First of August, we were down here in Halifax. <laughs> the end of July when I celebrated my birthday. First of August, we were in Halifax. So I retired on that Friday and we rented a truck to move our stuff. And so my wife and I had to come in separate vehicles because she wanted to drive the truck. So I had, I had enough truck driving and she wanted to do it. So. She drove the rental truck down, and I drove our minivan that we had at the time. We came down together, had our apartment all reserved, so we had a place to come to when we got here. We was all moved in there on August 1st, 2018. Here we are now, 2023. 24, sorry. Time flies so fast. Where's it going? This August it'll be six years, wow, that we've been down here. I'm in Peace and Friendship Park. Not a lot going on here because it's not exactly summer yet. Right beside the Weston Hotel and the Via Rail and bus station over there. Some kids playing in the, in the kids area here. Oh yeah. There's a new building going up right there. There was some houses there. A couple, I think two. Two houses, maybe one or two. I'm not sure. Anyway, they're all gone now, what it was there, tore down, and building some new uh, building right here. the south end of Halifax now. For anybody who doesn't know, and there's another little construction job right there. Something going up. It don't look like a big, real big uh, structure, but looks like they're preserving that house. They're going to integrate it into the that's very common here in Halifax. If the house is in half decent shape, they, uh, a lot of times they try to integrate it with the new building. It's 
a little bit of breeze blowing here, but not enough to hurt anything, I don't think. Well, let's see how long have I been at this. Wow, I've been almost an hour just getting to here. That's all right. That's okay. Make a good long video, because like I said, I made some short ones in the winter when it was really cold, and windy, and hard to do a video. I made some short ones. So now we're making up for it. Now we're making nice long ones. I had a microphone that I used to plug in and had a little bit of a windscreen on it. It wasn't great, but it, was, it worked a little. And my microphone stopped working, so I had to go back to the phone with the microphone. Because it was uh, not doing its job. And I never got another one yet, so. The, um, my phone stopped because I had too much video on there. I was right, I didn't erase that video. So I'm just in Tim Hortons now, getting ready to go back out. Turned on my camera, and everything is good. I had a lot of, I had an hour and a half video space on there that I erased. Because I didn't need any more. So we're good now, we should be able to finish this video, no problem. Since we're freed up an hour and a half space, but now we're in 40 minutes. It's basically freed up. So that's great. Now we'll get back out, get at it again. I think I got about 50 minutes on there already, but that's good. We'll continue on making the rest of our video. And as I promised, we're going under the tracks through the tunnel. Not very far from here. The very end of Barrington Street. Barrington Street ends right here at this turn. And maybe that last little bit that's down in there. Might be Barrington. Bonehead Smokehouse. Mmm. Barbecued chicken and stuff like that. Yeah. Might be good. I love barbecued ribs. Oh, that's my favorite. But not everybody makes good ribs. Some do and some don't. Now renting. That wouldn't work for us. Because my son works out in Lower Sackville and he doesn't drive. So we had to live out there to accommodate him so he could keep his job. And he bought himself a, a scooter, one of those ones you stand on, those electric scooters. And he rode it all winter. Imagine, hey, he took it all winter. See, on the really days he couldn't drive it, he just called Uber and took him to work. But it's not that far. You should want to 
no more than a 10 minute drive, maybe less. Five minute drive one way. So, so it's working out good for him. Most days he takes his scooter to work. And uh, my wife would only takes her about a 10 minute drive back to Burnside with the car. And me, I'm left on my own all day to do whatever I, I feel like it. I guess it's uh, making videos is my passion. We you believe that's a church right there? Halifax Chinese Christian Church, that building right there. Fantastic looking building. I think she's taking the tunnel too. A lot of people take that tunnel, it's a shortcut. You're going to see something, but there's usually a lot of writing on the wall. And sometimes there's people in there smoking marijuana. So we'll see what we encounter today in the tunnel. It looks pretty good today. And the tunnel was built in 1935. Lots of graffiti on the walls here. <laughs> Some of it is artwork and some of it is just uh, spray paint. This cuts off a whole lot of walking. If you live in this area of the south end and you want to go down here like to Point Pleasant Park, this cuts off about, probably about 45 minutes walking. Depending on how fast you walk, at minimum of half an hour walking if you go that way. Okay. There's the security gate where you go into the terminal, the container terminal. I don't think the trucks, maybe, yeah, that might be where, but there's two gates. I think they go in down here. There's one coming, we'll see where he goes. Oh, that's a gravel truck. Yeah, I, I think I think when I came down here, I went in that one, and then you come out the one down here, I believe. Yeah, there was that's, a time, right? That's what I think. I think we went in that one and come out down here. That's, that's my recollection. Anyway, that is the container tunnel. We'll walk that around in a little bit so you can get a better look at it. There's an engine making up a train right there. And that right there is grain tank, green tanks. Where a lot of trucks come in here and pick up a trailer load of some kind of grain. And sometimes they bring them here. ships. The ships come over right over here where those structures are. And there's pipes all the way across here and into those tanks. So that's how they all go to the grain ships. If a ship comes from, I don't know, it's Europe somewhere, and it's got rain on it. They just run. They blow through those pipes and fills up those tanks. Down here for a while. 
probably all winter I haven't been down here. Because it's cold down here in the winter. The wind blows in off the water. It's a, the harbor's right right there. And it's, it can be quite cold down here in the winter time. So I'm saving this for, for better weather, like today. You can tell looking at this, it's, it is an industrial area. No houses down here. This is all industrial stuff. We'll, uh, we'll go down far enough so you can get a good look at the container terminal where they, where they, apparently they're going in down here too. Back when I did it, I went in down here. But things over the years have changed. That was back in the 90s when I used to come down here to the container, container terminal. 30 years ago, can you imagine? Oh, I was a young man then. New building going up here. Let's see what it says. Inter-terminal rail solution at Halifax Port. Inter-terminal rail. Oh, I know. Doesn't say what it's going to do. It just says Port of Halifax. Rail solution. There you go. New building going up here. There's a lot of money's worth of stuff goes in and out of here in the day. The container traffic hardly has a lull in it. I'm sure there's at least a trailer coming in or out every couple of minutes. Right where that one down there is going in, that's the gate. So I guess they don't go in that other gate unless, uh, maybe there's exceptions, but it looks like this is the main gate now down there. I'll let him go. All right, he's got to wait for you on, so I'll go. GTL, Glengarry Transport Limited, that's from Nova Scotia. There They are us, trailer in there. Milling Group, PH Milling Group. That's flour. Flour from, made from grain. This comes off of the chips. And they got a flour making plant right here. Well, this is going to be uh, nice having a look at, at the container terminal down here. I don't think they're unloading. Well, they might be unloading one. If they're up in the air, they're not unloading. If they're stretched out, they're unloading. So it looks like there might be one something that's getting unloaded in there, possibly. That's a heavy duty crane right there. Yeah, this is the entrance way. You go right through that building. Bader Ross. Go on, let's see who owns that. JPS Trucking.
Uh, these containers down here got freight, freight of all different kinds from all over the world. They come in here in ships and unload them, store them here. There's, there's loads of containers down here. You, you just couldn't even count them. There's thousands of containers that's piled up down there. Which I won't be going in. I won't be going probably much farther. Because there's not much more to see. All you see is piles of containers down there. And the security is right on the job here. If you go anywhere you're not supposed to, they'll be right after you. There's cameras everywhere here. Up on those poles, all over the place here, there's cameras. So you have to, you have to abide by the rules or you'll get into trouble. I'll walk to the end and then I'll close off my video down here at the turn, okay? I walked across that right down there over the top of the tracks, making the video before too. If you just get caught in there where those tracks are, you'll get a big fine. That's why they put the fence up here and, and they got signs up. No stopping, you're not even allowed to stop here if you're driving a car. No stopping. But you are allowed to walk here. Brand new railroad ties there, look. Maybe they're gonna replace these old, some of them are pretty rotten here, look. Some of them are missing. Well, maybe they're gonna redo the tracks down here. Brand new railroad ties. Must be what they're for. Fixing up the track down here. These ones haven't been done in years. Those two over there have been done. But these ones need to do it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Something a little different. If you did, don't forget to push that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, my thanks to you. Thanks to everyone who makes comments. I try to answer them. I know I need to do that today sometime. Answer the rest of my comments. And with that, I hope you're having a really nice day. Take care, be safe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.